No doubt you heard today that President Trump is taking away California's power to set its own auto emission standards, and California is fighting back. But there are some big questions surrounding California emissions and how today's news affects you. So let's take a deep dive. First, how are California emissions different than the rest of the country? While the Clean Air Act allows the EPA to set standards for air pollution from cars, it also prevents states from creating their own standard. But California was already addressing pollution problems in the 60s, and Congress exempted us from that rule. Here's what we mean by pollution problems. The Los Angeles skyline in the 60s was filled with smog. The warm climate mixed with a rising population created a recipe for dangerous air quality, and it was happening at an alarming rate. Twelve other states and D.C. have since followed California's rules, setting stricter fuel emission standards than the federal government's. These standards have influenced the auto market, since these states make up about a third of car buyers. And so how does today's news affect you and I? Well, keep in mind that transportation is the largest source of greenhouse gas emissions in the country. California's current rule says cars should get 54 and a half miles to a gallon by 2025. The proposed Trump rule would lower the requirement to about 37 miles a gallon. There is a benefit to doing this. Cars could be less expensive to build, meaning money back in our pockets. But the battle over all of this is just beginning, and Attorney General Javier Becerra says he is ready to fight. 